Yeah, hey Brad, you mentioned Waukee, uh, and that's exactly where we're at right now. The snow has uh, let up a little bit uh, here, Dallas County, Polk County line, but let me tell you, let me show you the roads right now because they are snow covered. And one thing we have to keep in mind with temperatures dipping down already into the teens and getting below zero overnight tonight is that salt just doesn't work when you get into the single digits, single digits below zero. Um, it becomes, it renders the cold, really just renders the salt ineffective. Uh, going eastbound now on University Ave, Southeast University, uh, you know, main drag here in Waukee, snow covered, uh, and that's just how things are going to go. Salt is not going to be able to help us out a whole lot on the roads in the next 36 to 48 hours. Uh, hopefully this is the commute that's impacted the most in terms of falling snow, but visibilities are not going to get any better over the next day or two. Like we said, blizzard warning goes into effect tomorrow at noon, continues into effect all the way until Saturday at 6 a.m. Samantha, for now, we'll keep an eye on the roads. Uh, we'll toss it back to the studio. Dave, thank you so much. And let's switch gears now. Let's go to Larissa Leone. Larissa is downtown, keeping you updated on canceled events. Larissa. Yes, yeah, Samantha, we're here in downtown just as you said, and just like Brad mentioned just a few moments ago, roads are starting to get a little sloppy. We're seeing that, you know, this is kind of more of a fluffy snow on the roads right now, but I would encourage everybody before they head out to drive or if you're driving right now, is it worth putting yourself in harm's way of a blizzard? I don't know. That's up for you to decide, but I hope you be safe. Now, I'm going to step out of frame here so you guys can kind of see, you know, we're at the Capitol behind me seeing so trying to accumulate um, on the grounds here now. Now, let, as Samantha stated, there's some events that are canceled. DMARC food pantries will close Thursday and Friday. Hoyt Truman Palace has rescheduled a Thursday night Christmas concert um, to Sunday, December 17th. Confluence Brewing had a really fun holiday movie planned tonight, but that's going to go ahead and be rescheduled to Friday at 7 p.m. And as if you were going to plan to the zoo, well, you can't go because it, they will not open their gates until Monday. And then an Iowa State canceled a men's basketball game tonight and a women's basketball game tomorrow. Now, Iowa Wild is still on tonight, so if you're going to that game, as I said, give yourself some space on that car. Drive slowly and um, just overall take care of yourself. We'll have more events, um, cancellation updates later on in the show as well as online. Um, for now, Larissa Leon, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Larissa, thank you. Try to stay warm out there. Tough conditions. Hey, most of cities across central Iowa have put parking bans in place ahead of the storm and many are already in place. If you live in Des Moines, text the word snow to 515-355-8815 and Des Moines Public Works will send you everything you need to know. And Des Moines has extended how long residents have to clear snow from sidewalks. Des Moines residents typically have 48 hours after snowfall, but for this storm, you will have four days after the snow stops to clear off your sidewalks. And before we go any further, now is the ideal time to download the We Are Iowa app. It's easy. Just pull out your phone, scan that QR code there on your screen. Every weather update will be sent straight to your phone by our weather team. We want to take a live look at flight status out of Des Moines International. So we're checking on delayed and canceled flights. You want to be sure to stay tuned to Local 5 to see flight cancellations throughout the night. If not, a lot of changes tonight, there sure will be by tomorrow. Local 5's Nora J.S. Reichardt is live at Des Moines International Airport. She joins us now. So Nora, what are you seeing at the airport? Yeah, Samantha, I've spent the better part of the last two days chatting with some travelers about their holiday plans out here, and I can pretty safely tell you that Des Moines International is about as busy as I've ever seen it. We're definitely starting to see some delays. I, ch I checked the upcoming departure list shortly before this, and it seems like about half of the flights right now are dealing with some sort of delay. But the volume of people coming through is pretty much in line with what airport officials told me to expect. They're predicting about a rough return to pre-pandemic travel levels for the holidays with between 65,000 and 70,000 people coming through. To put that into perspective, last year it was just around 67,000 people for the holiday travel season. Several of the flyers that I've been speaking to today have been telling me that they've had to make some very last minute adjustments to their plans to make sure their holidays stayed on track. We were planning to leave tomorrow and then boarding the ship on Friday, of course, but we decided with the storm we better go today because the ship will not wait. 
So tonight at 6, I will have the latest on delays and cancellations and how that might be impacting your holiday seasons. And I'll tell you, introduce you to some more flyers about how they've been adapting those plans. Samantha. All right, Nora, thank you so much. This weather has a lot of plans canceled or rescheduled. For a list of closings across the metro, just text closings to us at Local 5. Our number is 515-457-1026.